Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a love bonus reading for you. This is how this he or she feels about my reading for Scorpio sign. Let me just move. Okay, sorry, I'm going to move the camera. I'm sorry guys. Okay. okay, that is much better. So this is for you Scorpio. This is how this he or she feels about me reading for Scorpio sign. This reading, it has no timeline, it has no date, no due date. This is a bonus reading for Scorpio. How does this person feel about you, thinks about you right now? How does he or she feel about you right now? This is for Scorpio sign. What can I get, please? Oh, God. There's an angry person. All right. There is an angry, impatient energy. Let's do it again. How does he or she feel about me reading for Scorpio sign? No timeline. No time frame. Message, please, Scorpio. First card. Page of Swords. I knew it. Impatient. Page of Swords. A message. An impatient, quick message coming through. It's, it's a bit of confrontational, it's a bit arrogant, it's blunt, but it is going to give you uh, an insight, all right? For some of you, I'm picking up discovery. For some of you, whenever I do a reading and I see these birds, you know, it's, this is, this is a message, this is, this is an incoming message, all right? This is a message coming towards the way, and it's a lot, it's, it's a flock. It's a flock of bird. Yeah, one of my insight and guides. Um, yeah, I never fail when it comes to general reading, tarot reading. When I see birds, this is incoming message. And it's a lot, right? What's the page of swords, please? It's a risk-taking message. What else could you tell me about the fool and the page of swords? Okay, so I felt like this could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. All right, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Tor Taurus, or a Virgo, um, if if not if it, if it's not a Capricorn, if it's not a well, sorry, <laughs> if it's not an Earth sign, it could be a person where you guys have instability. Ten of Pentacles in the verse could describe um, unhealthy relationship unhealthy connection like you could be acting like your boyfriend or girlfriend but you never really have a certain uh, a specific label so it could be a person from your past or it could be a person that's still in communication with you so they're coming towards you and they feel for some of you they will play fool and take a risk to communicate something all right because it's been stable for some of you, I'm picking like it's been stagnant. It's been unstable for them not to talk to you, not to come towards you. So for some of you, this person is going to play dumb. For some of you, it's it's foolish, but they will, you know, they will connect with you. It's a risk for them. It's a risk, but it's like a, a funny risk. Like they would, it, it's going to be embarrassing for them, but they will try. They will communicate. For some of you, it's a person that's going to pretend they're angry. And don't take them serious. Like they, they, they have a persona or they have a drama coming towards to you, a bit of confrontational, like they would make you feel like it's your fault, but actually it's just some sort of a drama. It's just to get your att attention, okay? So, um, can I get another more message, please? How does he or she feels about me for Scorpio? So this is, I felt like this is one set of the reading, right? It's one set of the reading. I'll put it back. One set of the reading. Okay. This wanted to come out. You've got a seven of swords. How does your she feels about me? For some of you, a person is spying to you. A person is lying or deceitful. Why? Hmm. For some of you, you have doubt whether this person is sincere So again, this is earth energy. Um, for some of you, I'm picking up. Um, they're gonna offer you something. They're gonna message you something. 
um, you, for some of you, you're busy with your life. For some of you, you're really like, um, they see you as someone very attractive, very sort of, you, you've got something that, some of you always see the Knight of Pentacles as a card where they're at, you know, someone is not, it's it's not just physical attraction, you know. When I, whenever I see, because Nine of Pentacles is a card of being single, being ready. You, 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 you're enjoying yourself, you know. You, you take care of yourself. You take care of your pentacles. You have good career. You have good life. You have a balanced, okay life. And you're mature. And this is what this person is attracted towards you. For some of you, I'm picking up. You know, you are a point where you're you're busy, you're chillaxing, there's no drama, and suddenly this person comes back. And you are doubting whether this person's, you know, is 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 sincere. Although the Knight of Cups, you know, the Knight of Cups is one of the sincerest um offer energy among the cards, you know. I always I've thought my cards to speak to me. So whenever I see the Knight of Cups, this is a sincere offer. Somehow it's being back up or um, it's attached to Seven of Swords. So I felt like um, there is a bit of, you know, before, for some of you I'm picking up like um, before they all, before they message you, they would spy you first. Whether you're seeing someone, you're with someone or what's up, you know. It's kind of like checking on you. What are you right now? Who's with you right now? How busy you're, how busy you are? What you like what's what's going into your life? What what's you know, like what's what's happening to your life without directly asking it? It could be spying, looking at your social media account, asking your friends. But before they offer you this Knight of Cups, I felt like they would ask around, you know, do a little bit of research before they offer the Knight of Cups. They do this because they don't want to be rejected, or you know, they they want to really be. They want to appear like. For some of you, I'm picking up to be, to be, to be, to be accepted, not to be accepted, but, you know, it, they're, they're kind of, per for some of you, it's perfect, for, for them to be perfect, they need to spy, like, they want to really appear, they want to, they want to look like sincere, they want to really make it, they want to really, um, they want to, they want it to, per I don't know why, but, <laughs> I'm, I'm stammering, it's, <laughs> I don't want to say perfect, but it, it keeps coming out of my mouth. So for some of you, I'm really picking up that they want to be perfect this time. So they're going to spy you to make sure that the second, the third time around, it's going to be perfect. Um, and because you, for some of you, it's, it's, you deserve, because you know the Knight of Pentacles. This is single. This is really attractiveness. This is a smart person. I always see the Knight of Pentacles as if you're a woman. You know, I find you a smart, not just physically attracted, but you're successful. You're smart. You're a person that could hold conversation. So you're not just attractive physically, but you're a you have an attractive personality, and this is the reason why this person is making an effort like a sincere knight of cups because they want to be perfect around you because they know that you're not just someone you know you you are smart you're not just a dumb blonde <laughs> but you're something really you're someone that's really smart so you, they really need to be to keep up on the game that's why they meet a you know they have a bit of an energy of the seven of swords they made a research they spied on you they prepared like they have a wicked idea that if they come up with sincere and have lots of you know a research about you they wouldn't appear stupid in front of you because they you 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 have this you know this 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 personality that that makes them attractive of you all right it's it's really good um so this is them towards you, especially those dating okay okay one more how does he or she feels about me reading for Scorpio? How does he or she feels about me reading for Scorpio? Those who broke up or separated. Break up. Separation. 
break up the separation, please. Mm, Ace of Swords. Okay, Knight of Wands. Page of Wands. Oh, this is good news, all right? For those of you who do, this is more of applicable, um, applicable for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, it's more likely that this this person they're gonna message you this good news. This is a flirt card. This is. This is card that's gonna. This is a card. This is a person that's gonna convince you, like to pay attention with me, like look at me, reply to me, pay attention with me, like this is an attention. When this message comes with you or action comes towards you, it's something that's hard to resist and it's something that's requiring attention. This is hard to miss. All right. This is this is a person, a communication, an action, where. It, you won't miss and you're most likely to reply. You're most likely tempted to reply or you're being teased to reply. So it's flirt, it's passion, it's connection, it's good news, right, for, for a breakup or separation. Um, the Knight of Swords is facing off with the Ace of Swords. So I felt like once this message, once this person, once, once this gesture or you felt this sign towards this person, you are going to fix them up with an Ace of Swords. So right now, this person, how they feel about you right now is they want to message you, they want to come forward to you. And if you look at the color, you know, if you look at this, if you look at the cards, it's in orange. So I'm not sure whether it's summer towards you. Summer, orange, in flame. Somewhere about desert, Middle East. Um... What else I'm picking up? Um, this is a knight and a wand, so it could be younger than you are. So, yeah, if you break up, you separated. Um, you could be probably leaving somewhere Middle East, summertime, or summertime is where you would get the the message. Summertime is where they plan to see to message you, but in a collective general love reading, this is a flirt card. It's an on and off. They're going to start with a message. It's good news. Like, it's good. Like, for some of you, I'm picking up if you break up, if you separated and they contact you. It's a good news. Even though it's on and off, it's still a good news because it's a, it's a start of something. It's a start of something that you are connecting again, if you like this person, right? And um, because I felt like once they come along, this is good news. This is flirting. This is attention seeker. It's something so hard to ignore because it's it's a night. It's a night where it's there to get attention. Because I felt like once you pass through the message, once this is a message, this is a good news, this is, a, this is an actual arrival, an actual attention seeker person or message. Once you've had this too, the next um, card is the Ace of Swords, which is more serious. So I felt like you broke, if you break up or separated, something around summertime, Middle East, desert, somewhere around where, um, what else could I pick up? Or a young person, a young dude, some who displays immaturity. I felt like they're going to come back with a message, with a good news. Or there's still a connection, there's still... A, it's gonna it's gonna improve into something serious so for some of you i'm picking up like it could be the the way they arrive the way they communicate the way they get your attention it's petty it's immature but if you give them a chance you know it could lead to something serious it could get you back the marriage because this is you know this is like a ring or it could get you back the marriage the commitment the engagement so and if you look at the two cards, you know, it's blue color coordinated. So, yeah, whenever I see this color coordination or synchronicity, in synchronized color, it means really is it's something that it's 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 destined to happen. It's planned, especially from page to ones. This is, you know, this is maturity, you know, page messenger. And then from a message, it would um, level up to a 
to a night, this is an action, a message, an action. And eventually, if you keep, you know, if you keep the commu communication coming in and out, you know, it will eventually mature to the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wards. <laughs> it could be for some of you, this is an award. An award. Ward. So I don't know whether that, you know, resonate with you guys. But it really is something for those breakup and separation that, yep, it might appear like it's immature. It's It might appear like they're just teasing you or they just wanted to seek attention. But I felt like if you guys continue to communicate, like, you know, I'm picking up like a banter, like a witty banter for your ex you know for someone someone of your past um it, it's gonna get you this ace of wards so if you feel like some sort of a quick banter you know a fun fight give it a go because i felt like you know if you like this person an ex it is gonna mature into something ace of swords all right so thank you scorpio thanks for your time it's been a pleasure doing this reading to you if you guys like the reading i would appreciate if you hit like don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell see you soon again my friend thank you